Is the law of attraction real? Is your mother real? <laughs> The answer is yes, and I've seen it play out in a million different ways in my life over the last three and a half years, but basically it boils down to this. If you put good stuff out, good stuff will come back. And in my personal uh, experience, it comes back tenfold, twentyfold. It's not the like woo-woo, like mysterical, like all of a sudden there's gonna be fog that comes up behind me and I have a glass ball that I'm looking through. It's just having the right intent, being a good person and knowing that good things will happen because of it. Make sure obviously number one that you're writing those goals down, but more importantly, make sure that you are speaking those goals into fruition. Make sure that you are communicating those goals with as many people as you can. Get it out there, speak them into fruition. It is a vital role of hitting them. Most, the most important person to speak those to is your spouse, your partner, your significant other. Set those expectations of what life's gonna look like in 2017 in order to hit those goals. Speaking those goals um, publicly on a public platform like here on Facebook Live, there's something about speaking them um, that to me, beyond writing a goal out, uh, just takes it to a whole nother level, um, which has been very interesting for me to watch uh, myself do um, and see it you know, being done by other people as well, but um, man, it's just something powerful about it. Sunday night or early Monday morning, I travel three to four days a week, always down in Georgia, so I'd be driving down to Georgia and I would hop on. I always did live on Facebook, that's why I built Facebook bigger. Um, in the beginning, I would jump on there and say, hey, my goal this week is to sell 75 life insurance policies in four days. Keep you guys posted on what happened. I'd kind of jump on there every now and then, but at the very least, I'd jump on there at the end of the night. I'd say, hey, day one's done, sold 13 policies today. So I'm behind on my goal of 75. Day two, I'd jump on there a couple times throughout the day. At the end of the day, hey, day two, I crushed it today, sold 37 policies. I'm at 50, so I'm right on track. I'm actually ahead now. Day three, day four. And it was just the law of attraction for me. Like I was just attracting, I, I was saying the word 75 policies like over and over and over and over. The majority of people think that believing in the law of attraction is enough and that trying to utilize the law of attraction is enough, but you actually have to still go out and work. So the law of attraction is awesome. The law of attraction is a great idea, but ideas are just that ideas without action there is no impact ultimately that you're making so yeah you can you can think about what you want all you you can think about you want all day long you can you know you can manifest you can meditate you can do all these different things but until one foot one foot goes in front of the other and you start walking towards whatever you're actually trying to have manifested then nothing's going to happen i think that's probably the biggest um, mistake made with the law of attraction is people all of a sudden thought that they could you know, just think things into fruition and yeah thoughts are powerful thoughts are everything you have to audit all those things that are going into your brain every day and try to eliminate the negative and and bring in more positive but until you go do something until you go put any work in then it is just that thoughts there are a lot of people out there that they are in a situation right now where they feel like they are waiting on god and i would just tell you that what if god's waiting on you and what if there's two sides to the coin and that if you take one step, maybe the next step will be laid out in front of you. And then if you take another step, maybe the next step will seem more clear. Mm -hmm. And if you take another step, then all of a sudden you start to see a path down the road. But until you take that first step, until you show the initiative and you put in the effort and you start putting in action, why would you expect anything to right. just happen? So yeah, thoughts become things. They always talk about in The Secret. Thoughts become things, but thoughts only become things when work is put in. Um, and so that's an, it's a, an ever-increasing um, mistake and an ever-increasingly important uh, topic. Because yes, I 100% believe in the law of attraction. I believe it so much that I, it, I'm cautious at times because I feel like sometimes I can potentially attract the wrong things without even trying. Um, but man, you gotta put the work in so that when it comes, you're aware and so that when it comes, you know you earned it.